So this is where we are now. I just have a summary of a few examples to show. Again, what I just mentioned already is how things are changing very rapidly. So to summarize, it's about the speed of innovation or the acceleration of innovation and the time for us, humans, society, to embrace it. If you look at this from the video that you know on the web, it's on the web, you can check it out. It took 38 years, that's like a lifespan back in the days for a person. And so to reach an audience of 50 million, and radio was big back then. When the TV came out, visual and sound, it took only 13 years. When the internet came, four years to reach an audience of 50 million. The iPod, three years. Talking about the iPod, this year, Apple discontinued the iPod which was actually a killer in the industry. That was the killer app, right? That was the end of Sony, basically, you could say. And this year, they discontinued their own product. That's fast, how fast technology is changing. Summarize it, this picture of Darwin. We all know this. To survive the next wave, I think, I think we all need to adapt. Or we will die, right? Okay, let's not get too dramatic. This year, having worked for all these uh, technology firms in the past and hearing everybody talking about innovation, I thought, why not go to Silicon Valley? I mean, if you live in the States, it's a normal thing maybe, but for us, let's say from the region, let me go to Silicon Valley to see where it's all happened. So I have some photos that I took, I will show them to you. Um, this is a slide to summarize basically already. So I have a few key, key takeaways. This, are not my, this is not my slide, it's from uh, Mr. Russell Hancock, he was like the ambassador of Silicon Valley. And, but this gives us an idea a little bit about you know, what are the conditions, what are the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the criteria you should have in place, maybe, if you want to be innovative. So if we look at Silicon Valley, they have a result-oriented society or a organization type. That means it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, how long you are with the company, as long as you have good ideas and you can bring them across, you know, and they bring in results. You will make, you will make your move. You will be successful. It's also a climate. Simon mentioned it about, uh, and this is maybe specifically for Silicon Valley, not for the rest of the U.S. necessarily. But it's okay to start your own company and to fail. Actually, it's an asset if you have been, you know, starting your own company, you fail and you try again. If you fail, fail fast, right? We heard it yesterday from from Gerd. So I think that is also, it has to do with the mind, I'm sure, but that's, that's a cultural thing that we should embrace. What they also have, they have strong markets, international labor, of course they have access to capital, but we also have it because we have diversity in our region. 